Hello beautiful people, what is up? Today is May 22nd, which means I am one day away from my two weeks into my 30 day challenge that I've been doing. I've been working out five to six days a week. I've been calorie counting. I have not been drinking any alcohol. I think those are pretty much the main challenges that I was giving myself. Um, I've been focusing on my macros, trying to eat more protein than usual so that I can gain muscle mass. I wanted to update you guys not only on like my progress so far, but I wanted to talk about some of the changes that I'll be making in the next two weeks while this is in while this is still going on. It's two weeks end that Saturday, so tomorrow for me. By the time you guys are seeing this, it's already ended. Um, and I re checked my weight and I have lost a little bit more than two pounds over the last two weeks so that is awesome as far as measurements go I only checked my waist and it actually said that I had added two inches to my waist when I initially did it and then I tried to do my measurement again a little bit later and I had gained one inch on my waist now I did want to keep in mind that I had worked out abs today when I did this and then the second time around I had already eaten today whereas the first time that I did all of my measurements I hadn't eaten or worked out that day yet. So keeping in mind with all the things that's possibly making the changes I wanted to let you guys know that that's what I've checked and the changes that have happened on my body. Um, I definitely am feeling more energized and in general I have felt a lot more positive I think if I looked at all of the days, I think I felt more positive going into this. I haven't had a whole lot of cravings, even alcohol. I'm surprised that I'm not craving drinking. Today was the first day that I was like upset that I'm not drinking. Matt went and bought some alcohol and he's planning on drinking tonight probably I would assume. And tomorrow we're going over to my dad's house and I am really debating on maybe breaking my 30 days of alcohol for one day and drinking on the two week cusp and then going back to no drinking for the rest of the two weeks. I haven't decided yet because it is totally weight and body focused for the reason behind my not drinking alcohol. I don't think I'll feel too guilty if I give up and break it for the one day, but I also like to challenge myself and it does feel really good to be able to say I've done it for 30 days. In the past, I've done it like that and I know that it does feel good if I don't cheat. So I have feelings and I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do yet, but that's where I'm at as far as the like cravings go. I have been craving a lot of sugar this week specifically over the last few days, but I've been continuing to have the chocolate and stuff like that in moderation and maintaining my calorie counting and stuff like that. So it's been going okay, it hasn't really messed anything up. There were two days this week that I did go over on my calories significantly, but still in a maintaining space of calories rather than a deficit. So again, not too guilty, but also definitely not where I wanted to be. So that's kind of how it's gone so far. So moving into some things that I'm going to be changing. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing Sarah from Sarah's Day eight week challenge. I'm going to be doing her Sweat It to Shred It ebook. I bought both of them though and she's currently starting her Sweat It Reload challenge but I'm gonna start the Sweat It to Shred It one the same time she does because Sweat It Reload she said does get really difficult and so I don't want to start off with the harder one. I would rather start with this, the easier one. Not that they're gonna be easy. They're not. The way she does her workouts are intense. So I'm going to be doing that eight week challenge so for the first two weeks, the last two weeks of the 30 days, I will be doing the beginning of her eight week challenge. That was confusing, I feel. But yeah, so that's going to be my workout routine. So it's going to be changing. Like I said, it's going to be all body based, um, body weight based instead of working out with weights. So that's nice. It's a nice change. Um, and also because I don't have full equipment, like I do feel like this will be great to have as an option. Especially considering the fact that I am really considering trying not to go back to the gym even when they open. I haven't quite decided on if that's what I'm going to do, but it is something I'm considering. The last thing that I wanted to say is that I am going to start the 30 Days of Healthy Living with Arbon this mm, Sunday, which will be into week three of my 30 Day Challenge. I'm going to be starting Arbon. So basically my 30 Day Challenge of calorie counting, no alcohol, and working out five days a week is still continuing, but now I'm using other programs to continue it. 
one thing I will say about Arbonne's 30 Day of Healthy Living is that they, the 30 Days of Healthy Living they do, you're supposed to cut out wheat, soy, and dairy. And I don't think that I'm going to be able to get rid of any of those uh, completely because at my work we eat what the kids eat and we're not really allowed some substitutions can be made but we're not allowed to like just eat whatever we want even if it's in the fridge or we can't really bring food unless we eat at a different time so I'm not really willing to make that effort but I am going to be doing all of the other supplemental things that they ask for such as doing two shakes instead of like basically as meal replacements. That is one thing I'm considering is doing a meal replacement shake for lunch and eating it like after the lunch time at work. It just depends. I need to decide. I need to try to prep it out and see what I can do. All of that said, 30 Days of Healthy Living is kind of how I'm going to be basing some of my food stuff with my calorie counting and stuff still involved. Doing Sarah from Sarah's Day's eight week challenge for the first two weeks and continuing for the last uh, two weeks of this challenge that I created for myself. So that is changing my workout routine even though it doesn't change the amount of days I'm planning on working out. No alcohol is still being maintained. The other thing that uh, the 30 Days to Healthy Living asks you to get rid of is coffee. So what I've been doing lately is not drinking coffee during the week and I've switched to tea but then on the days of the weekend I usually will have a cup of coffee and I'm going to be cutting that out completely following at least one rule of the 30 days of healthy living. They do also technically ask you to not drink alcohol, which I'm already doing, which is another reason why I'm considering drinking tomorrow because it's the day two days before the 30 days of healthy living starts. So I'll have to do 30 days again of no alcohol. So it's just like, why the hell not? I don't know. I keep going back and forth. What should I do? You tell me. So those are the updates and I will do another one in two weeks to let you know what my 30 days did my body wise, weight wise, um, measurement wise. I didn't take beginning body pictures so that's unfortunate because I don't have a picture reference but I am planning on taking pictures this weekend to show what my eight weeks of Sarah from Sarah's Day thing does, as well as for the 30 days to healthy living. There's a lot of numbers involved here, and you'll see all of it as we go. Let me know what you guys think about the alcohol thing. What should I do? Let me know if you guys did my 30 days, are doing my 30 days challenge with me. How are you guys doing? Or if you're on some other journey or transformation, or if you're not caring and you're trying to just take care of your sanity because we're in quarantine and all that that's awesome too let me know how you're doing what is something that you're trying to get into the habit of doing in general I would love to know I have been doing really well with my journaling that was something that I set up in the beginning of the year to do and I was supposed to journal every day I'm doing it about every other day on average and I'm really filling up this book it was empty when I started it and we're almost we're more than halfway filled up so I've definitely been journaling like a fiend and having a great time doing it so that's really fun so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already I make videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel so I will see you guys very soon with a new one bye